Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to take a look at HomeUp. HomeUp is a brand new module that is added into GoodLock. Now, GoodLock is an application that is downloaded from the Galaxy Store, and it's a way that you're able to fully customize your phone in so many different ways, from your home screen to your navigation bar and also your multi-window. Now, HomeUp was just added yesterday, and what you're able to do first off is let's say that we want to toggle this on. Now, there's three different categories that we're presented with. The very first one on the very top is your home screen. So this is where you're able to actually customize your phone beyond what you're able to do originally. So five by six is what my phone is set up right now. That is the maximum you're able to do for your grid for the home screen and the app screen. But when you go through this application, you can go high as six by six. You can even go all the way up to seven by seven. So this way you have a, a larger grid you're able to work with, but it makes your icons just a little bit smaller. Then the same thing with your app screen grid when you look at your application tray. So for example, when we swipe up, this one is going to be a five by six. You can make it a six by six. So this way it's showing a little bit more applications on your main page here and a little bit less on your second page. So simply you're able to change your, your screen grid with the home screen as well as your app screen. And then when you go down over here, you have three other options for your home screen, which is the background blur control. So when you do pull up your application tray, what you're able to see is that you're able to have a bunch of uh, blurriness in the background and you can change the rate of the blur. So if you want it to be a 100% blur, it's gonna look like this versus that. Now heading back a page, the very next option is loop pages. So this way you can actually turn on the looping option so you don't have to go backwards when you are using your application tray. But I'm gonna show you two at one. The next thing is you can also ha hide the app icon label. So what's gonna happen is when you go inside of here, I'm able to loop, which was one of the settings that we turned on, but it also hides the icon label. So this way you don't really know what application is unless if you know the icon. So I'm gonna turn that one off. I'm gonna go right back inside of my application tray here. You can see all the icons are back there with the names and I can also loop. So that concludes the home screen options. Now, when you go inside of your folder, this is making all the changes to the folders that pop up. So if you would like to have folder title suggestions, all this means is that when you created a folder, it's gonna give you three different suggestions of what you could call it. Maybe pictures or communication, things like that. I like to fully customize the title myself. So I'm gonna have that one turned off. Now, when it comes down to the folder popping up, you can see it's a full screen title and then everything else is just down over there. Now, when we move right back inside of GoodLock, if you turn on the pop-up folder, what's gonna happen is now it's just gonna be a small little pop-up and you have to swipe if you have multiple icons. So this would be pretty cool if you have one that doesn't really have a lot of uh, icons inside of there. You can even go in there, you can change the color of what your background's gonna look like and also the, the color of the font. So if you want it to be white or black and you also have a few transparency options. Now, you do have to have this one turned off in order for you to have these ones turned on. So the last one we didn't cover right here is folder grid. It's a way that you're able to change the folder icon. So right now my icons only show a three by three. And when I open up the folder, it's a four by four. So really fast, you can see here it's three by three. And right here, it's gonna be four by four if it was fully filled in. You're able to change that just like your home screens. So if you want to show a little bit more folders when it's opened and with it being shut by looking at the icon, you can make these changes here. Then the very last one that's on the very last little category is your backup and restore. So this is good to do if you're gonna be making a lot of changes with this application. So what's gonna happen is I had to turn on the ability for it to save. I can tap immediate right now. And everything that is, is already saved right now as my home screen, this is now my backup. So if at any point in time I make a bunch of changes, but I wanna go back to where I originally started or maybe one that was kind of in the middle, then I can just choose this option and it's going to uh, restore that last saved point. So this was a quick overview of Home Up. It takes a lot to kind of explain it all, to go through everything, a lot of customizations. You can check out my main channel, which is Jimmy's Promo, if you want to see the full um, in-depth review and tutorial of this one. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give us a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, also famous, number one, desirable. Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it. Leave you with that one in the air.